This is the clique that has brightened the evenings of 64-year-old Nasu Banganalia since he started using solar energy for at least a year now. Sometimes I could not get money to pay for, for kerosene. And so when the power is on, you forget all about the, all about the kerosene. Banganalia is a fisherman in Kayanzi Parish in Yakiyumbu sub-county, Kasese district. Just like him, many residents here now use solar energy as an alternative source of light at night. Kayanzi is a small fishing community along the shores of Lake Edward, but its remoteness makes it unattractive for a connection to the national grid. This is part of the setup of the 5 kilowatt mini grid solar power project. The computerized system makes it easy for the operations manager of Kayanja Solar Microgrid, Sadiq Baluku, to build or disconnect both prepaying and postpaying users. Each customer is given a fuse that corresponds to their power usage. We have the measured and then the timed consumers. So, which means that those ones that have power for 24 hours and then those ones that have power for 6 hours. The high tech panels are fitted with ring bearings that rotate with the position of the sun. Kayanzi, just like most places in Kasese, gets enough sunlight every day. Now this system can get enough sunlight in just one day to power homes for about four days. This one supplies 94 homes out of a possible 128. At night, the security light switches automatically once it senses movement. Solar panels are made up of photovoltaic cells which convert sunlight into direct current. An inverter converts the direct current to alternating current or AC electricity. Baluku says it gets more profit during the peak fishing seasons. When there is a lot of consumption, there is when I get 1.5, when I collect 1.5 mercury, and the areas when there is low consumption, I collect like 1.2. Video hall and shop owner Gad Asaba is the highest paying client. He is billed about 400,000 shillings every month. If you look at the energy source levels in Uganda, uh, they are around 15% of the people who are accessing electricity. So it's a big concern and we hope that by piloting Kasese, we can share these lessons that can influence energy access interventions in the rest of Uganda. For a rural area like this one, it is such high cost of monthly subscriptions that has got some residents worried. We are using almost about uh, 4,000 shillings on our kerosene. Now I have to pay 12,000 shillings per month. So we are sure after the three years, the load, the burden on us shall have lowered. The 47 members of the solar project are also involved in a village savings group that meet at least once a week. It is such initiatives that officials of the Worldwide Fund for Nature believe the members can embrace to offset the loan. So we feel like we can be able to use some of these frameworks in order to support our energy access work. If government can provide a subsidy of probably about 40 or 50 percent, and also then the district provides some incentive, then at the end of the day, combined with the community contribution, we can be able to pay off the plant. The cost may be high, but with this system, the residents are offsetting an environmental burden by embracing clean and renewable energy. It has helped them to do away with the kerosene lanterns that emit smoke associated with lung diseases. We are seeing reduction in greenhouse gas emissions through the um, transition from the kerosene lanterns. Uh, we are also seeing a number of um, transformations in terms of productive energy usage because if you look at some of these communities, they did not have a number of businesses operating on electricity. The plant was established by a consortium of private developers. The members are paying monthly installments for three years before finally owning the project. But it is the transformation it has brought here that partially satisfies the users. With this solar, people here are able to turn the scorching sun to brighten their nightlife. And there's a high likelihood of you using the national grid having a blackout than someone from Kayanzi. Moses Akena, NTV.